Morning everybody, it's Phil Beck with the Professional Painter and Decorator and by now you've seen the thumbnail and you've probably seen the title below you know what paint we're talking about today but just to, if you didn't read it we're looking at the Johnsons, the John O's and it's the um, Stain Away Matte paint this is one of the paints that's a finish uh, and primer so primer finish all in one, it's high obliteration, high opacity um, should cover in one, obviously read the back of the tin because it gives you advice on um, getting the best performance out of it for a one coat coverage. We're not doing that today, we're using it as a two coat finish, stroke primer stroke finish. Um, it's ideal if you've got um, historic um, water damage um, staining that's been there before, um, nicotine, smoke damage, all the usual. Now this room that we're in is We've done this numerous times. This is this is one of these rooms that my father's done prior to me even starting um, in the firm. But um, it's got a, I don't know if you can see it on camera, it's got a blown vinyl ceiling that's had numerous coats of paint over it over the years. Originally, there was a crack across the ceiling. You probably won't see it, can you? If you can just see there, I've done a little bit of rubbing down where there's a bit of movement on the coving. There was a crack all the way across the ceiling and those of you that are old enough to remember, and I remember it, can you remember linen lining? What a nightmare that product was to paste, but it did hold off cracks. Moving forward, 20 odd years we now use wall rock don't we but what we're going to do we're going to just paint the ceiling today we're going to get two coats on it's a touch dry it says about an hour we're quite warm in here the radiators just got turned off uh recoat times four hours now what i'm going to do i'm going to go around with a brush and you're going to say what brush am i going to use i do like my three inch lick brush for cutting in round ceilings and things and then i've got the long pile rotor gold and that's what I'm going to be using. Because we've got a texture on the ceiling, we're not too worried about a longer pile giving a bit of a texture on the ceiling either. It's not going to really matter. The biggest thing for us is using this. I can't even lift it. It's that heavy. Um, it's the stain away mat on the ceiling to try and get this, um, we'll say it nicotine look. It's the heat of everything that's probably in the room. It's just stained everything. Originally, I'll say previously when we did this, it was painted all in Farrow and Ball um, modern emulsion and then it was a water-based gloss and from memory I think I was using then, oh, oh, can my dad remember? My dad's cleaning woodwork down over there and UPVC windows with a bit of cleaner in the water. Um, I've got a feeling it was when the fast flow gloss had just started to come out. I've got a feeling it was the crown water based gloss, which to be fair, the gloss level is still quite good. You can probably just see that on camera if I zoom in a little bit. It was crown. It, yeah, it's, it's confirming it was crown. Water based gloss, which was the undercoat and two top coat finishes. We're still going to keep with the water based finish. We'll have a look what we've got in the workshop because it's only a door frame and a bit of skirting. Um, we'll see what we're going to be using on that. But ceiling wise, we've got a coving going around. This is one of these original covings that are cast into the, the plaster in the ceiling at the time. It's not like a gyp rock or a plaster coving that is, is fitted after the room's been blasted out. It's actually cast into the room. Now, I don't know whether you can see, I'll get you up on the top there. Right, you can just see me. I'll just show you what we're going to be doing because we're going to be painting the ceiling white. This band here is going to be painted in the wall colour and then the main part of the concave part of the coving is going to be painted in with white as well. Now because this is a, a ceiling coving that's cast, that bottom edge across there isn't good enough to actually paint in with the coving. If you can just see it, it's very minute. It's not very straight because the edge is a little bit. Oh, it's had a lot of paint over it over the years, shall I say. So what we'll end up doing is doing the wall, going onto that coving and then cutting that little edge across there in with the white to get a straighter line. And that's how you do it to make it neater. You can't go round that and paint that little bottom edge because it's it'll be all over the place. It'll be like a grounds back, back leg. So uh, what I'm going to do now is just drop you down. You can see my dad's cleaning woodwork down. He's got handles to take off and that finger plate. I'm going to get the um, paint going and then I'll move the camera around and let's see what this is like for um, the opacity stroke, the coverage. Now it does say if you're going over bare surfaces, um, prime, I, as in using it as a primer, 20% water because it is a water-based product. 
I'm going to try it neat straight out the tin. If it feels like it's pulling or too thick, I'll add some water to the paint that I've got out in my roller bucket and um, my paint bucket and we'll apply it for the first coat with a bit of water if it needs it. But let's just see if this is straight out the tin, you can actually get it brushed on. You will know by the time you've got a couple of brushfuls whether it's um, workable or not. So obviously dilute to taste, but we'll see, we'll see. Right, see you in a little while. Right, I'm all ready to go. I've mixed that up. It felt quite thick in the tin. Um, it's, it's actually been inside, so it's not as a, it's not like it's been on the van or anything like that. Feels quite thick, feels quite round as we call it. But what I'm gonna do, let's see what it's like brushing. Bring in a bit, I'll bring in a bit closer now. I've brushed that, just you can just see there. Wow, what a difference! Let's my dad's looking as well, he's behind me. Look at that. Can you see the difference on that? Yeah, it wasn't a white ceiling before, it was an off white ceiling, but that for one coat on white is quite impressive. Now, what I've done, I've gone round it and I've just literally with the tips of the bristles, I've just feathered it off so I'm not getting any brush marks across it. Now, again, this is one coat. You quite possibly could get away with one coat. Probably is one coat better if you were spraying it because you can spray it. Obviously, you'd have to thin accordingly. But that, for one coat so far, I'm quite impressed how that's covering. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go... It dries out, Phil, when it dries out. Well, my dad patchy. says it might be patchy when it dries out, which it possibly would be with it being a darker colour underneath. But what I want to do now is just go round, get all this cut in, and then I'm going to get the roller, which is down there. I, I'm not one of these that's wetting my roller in, and I'm not one of these that's washing my roller out, particularly with um, a used bedded in roller. What I use, what I do is actually load the roller up, leave it in the bucket on the, you know, with the wire. So it's actually soaking in and the paint is penetrating into the actual roller um, element. So I'm not going to be rolling out loads of water, even though you spun it out, because that's what you find that if you've got a wet roller, you can get water coming out. So the roller is just down there and it's soaking in. I'm going to cut in this room first, or the ceiling, and then I'm going to get rolled, and you'll see me doing that in a 10-15 well, minutes. That's about right. I could have nearly set my stopwatch by that. About 10 minutes to cut this room in. Now, I've cut it in, and coming back to join up where I started from, you could actually feel that first lot of cutting in was starting to dry off. You could feather it back into itself, so that was all right. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start in this corner so my camera doesn't get any spots of paint over it. I'm just gonna do a square, and then I'm gonna see what it looks like, and I'll bring the camera in to have a look um, with you to see what this opacity, I'll say coverage stroke opacity is like, going over particularly a nicotined heat stained ceiling, but, this ceiling was a coloured ceiling. Something I can't remember now what we use. Something on the Farron Ball colour card. But that's what I'm going to do. Uh, rollers all nicely bedded in. It's soaked into that pile. And uh, away I go.
I'm going to say wow. Let's move you around here. I know some of you are going to be moaning at me saying, oh, you should be using a 12 inch roller. Do you know the beauty of um, using the 9 inch? You've got a little bit more control, it's not too big for you. And also, if you can just see, I'll go back there. When you've not got a double arm roller and you've got a single frame roller, you can actually get in quite close to where you've cut in with the brush. There's no need to be going around with a mini roller if you've got a single arm roller like what I'm using. You can get quite close into that edge all the way around there. And by the time that's dried and had two coats, you're not going to see whether it's brushed or rolled. But that you can see, can't you? Let's just flip you on the back. Look at that, that's pretty good isn't it, that's one coat. Now, once that's dried and it says four hours recoat time, that'll have a second coat. I'm hoping going over itself it'll probably apply a little bit easier. If not, I might just put a tadge of water in it, but looking at how it grins slightly on some of the relief around there, I might keep it as it is straight out the tin. So, um, right, give me what? 20 minutes and let's get this ceiling rolled. Okie dokie. It's now um, just after lunchtime. That ceiling is nicely dry. I must say I'm quite impressed how it's, um, I'll say bodied up. That wouldn't go for one coat because of the texture of the blown vinyl that's on. And you can see it's a little bit grinny um, showing through where the roll has been and obviously clearly where the brush Mark's gone all the way around the side. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to just um, get some more out now and I'm going to coat it all up for a second coat. Then I'll come back at the end and then we'll just do a, is it a yay or a nay? We'll see. Does it do what it says on the tin? I think it does. So there we have it. That ceiling took me about 35 minutes to coat up, might not even be as much as that cutting in and going around with that roller. I must say, that rotor gold long pile on a vinyl, well, I call it a, a blown vinyl textured wallpaper was brilliant. It actually has enough length on it to get enough paint on for you to roll it out and not feeling that you're over rolling your paint. Uh, that's by the by, but this, I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give a thumbs up. I'm not really a person that used Jono's paint and it's only as and when. Now you know about the video that's the brush killer, you've seen that, um, bit of a negative on that. But I have to say this is a stain blocking matte paint with let's call it high obliteration because this was, it wasn't a particularly nicotined ceiling but the colour of the, well you can see, we've, we've still got the colour of the walls still showing through because we've not done the walls yet but the ceiling colour was we know I think it could be matchstick it might have been matchstick or something similar on the um, Farrenball colour card but for two coats this ceiling is now covered I'll spin you around it has actually covered now the application of the second coat it still pulled a little bit with the brush which um, to be expected slightly because it was a thick paint I didn't want to thin it I didn't want to be I didn't want to be thinning it that I wasn't going to get that opacity that I needed to get that um, stain blocking capability and I've got that but all in all the thumbs up are there because this is looking solid so that is covered for two coats no problems the going round the edges and um, rolling it, it still felt quite a thick paint and I didn't want to stick anything to it, didn't want to add any water to it, I didn't want to be losing that um, opacity because you've thinned the paint down. But all in all, it actually went on quite well. If you were spraying it, you'd probably have to put quite a bit in to make sure it sprays nicely through the um, spray tip of choice. But on the whole, that has definitely got a thumbs up for me. We're not, um, we're not a high user of Jono's paint. We, um, you've seen that video there for the brush killer. <sighs> Don't care for that now, it kills me brushes. But for specialist products, and I call this a specialist product, it's the stain away matte white, brilliant white matte paint has done what it needed to do. We've now gone back to a white ceiling on this job and it has covered and bodied up lovely. Now, you're probably saying to me, Phil, what sort of price? We're working out a 10 litre tub, 
check online, check your, re your retail merchants, you know where you get your stuff from, because it can, it can fluctuate. If you're in the trade, you're probably getting a discount, but retail prices can be anything from about 120 pounds up to about 170, depending on where you're buying it from. That's not a cheap paint, is it, if you're looking at a 10 litre tub. I know a lot of people go on about price of paint. I, for one, have always seen paints are all expensive. But on the whole, it's done what it needed to do. We've not needed three coats, it's actually had two. And I'm still checking now. There's some areas that look a little bit damp. It's been done, what? Yeah, I'd say three quarters of an hour. It's still just drying off, but majority of it is dry. And it is a flat, matte paint. Now, when I did get up the steps and look across the ceiling, I couldn't see any flashing. And with it being a textured surface ceiling with that blown vinyl finish, your chances of seeing anything like that is very slim anyway. But on the whole, I'm really impressed with that. And thanks for listening to me. And they are coming. Anybody that's noticed, I've started bringing my woodwork forward. Yeah, because I was waiting on the paint delivery for the walls. That'll be on another video. It didn't arrive today. It's coming tomorrow. So while I've been doing the ceiling in between, I brought the woodwork forward with preparing it. It's actually had on this one PU um, gloss, obviously with the half prime primer and haft is the grip coat um, undercoat for PU gloss. It's had a half primer undercoat and one PU gloss and in the morning it's going to be having its second gloss on the woodwork but depends when this paint arrives for tomorrow. So yeah I probably th think the videos are there now at the side of me and thanks for listening. Very good paint. If you want to try it for stains going over nicotine and dirty surfaces it's it's brilliant you can use it ceilings and walls so don't be frightened to not use it on walls as well thank you